how to connect Canva website to PayPal. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your PayPal account within your Canva website. It is very simple and very easy. Follow the tutorial and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do, go to canva.com, sign in for an account and begin creating the website. When you want to create a website, simply go ahead and select either this icon right there or this thumbnail, or you can simply go ahead and click on the website to not create a website from scratch and use a template. I'm going to click on websites and choose a template. Here we have a lot of templates. As you can see, you can also go ahead and select any template and modify. It. Let's go ahead and select this one. I like it and then we are going to customize it. The template will be applied with all its pages. As you can see here, we have a lot of pages. We have from the beginning or the header to the footer. And also we have some elements. Go ahead and manage and edit. Also customize everything on this template. For example, let's go ahead and add a menu. For that menu, I'm going to add right there an element. And from that element, I am going to add maybe a shape and make some color to it. Let's go and select any shape that we want. For example, I'm going to add this shape. Here, I'm going to adjust it a little bit and make it a little bit longer. Like that, let's say that this is the main menu of our website. Go ahead and modify this shape color like that and make it for the blue or you can go ahead and copy the style from the same button right there. Go ahead and see the code and it is right here. Copy that code and go to this one. Simply you are going to click on the blue and we are going to type the same blue that we have. Or you can also use the pipe. Now we have simply something set. I'm going to select the blue again. And for the image, you can add a background image. Our image didn't load up properly, so it will appear like this. For the text, here it is. it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and change it for whatever you want. Let's go ahead and add some headings. And for that heading, I am simply going to let add. I'm going to adjust it, make it like that. Make it a little bit smaller, and here we have it. Now let's go ahead and search for or navigate for the pages. Here we have the insights. Let's say that these are the uh, insights. I'm going to put here first home. And for home, we are going to duplicate this one. I'm going to put here insights. Put it here like that. And finally, or not lastly, click on duplicate one more time. And this is for the third page. Here we are going to put here destinations. Nations. And we have, let's say that sign up. I'm going to duplicate this for this last time. I'm going to put here sign up. Here we have the form. Now make the uh, text a little bit smaller to fit on this box. I'm going to fit it right here, put it smaller also. I'm going to put it like that. And for destination also, it is vital to make it smaller. You can go ahead and put it like this or make it a little bit even more bigger. Like that. And the sign up, you are going to put it right here. Like that. And here we have it. And for the sign up, I am going to add another frame to it. Let's say that we are going to add this frame, but we are going to put it as a button. So we are going to change that color for white. Or you can go ahead and change that like this. Put it like that. And for the script or the sign up, go ahead and select this. Make it onto the a darker color. Go ahead and put the button like this. And here we have the sign up button. Make it like that. And here we go. 
Now, simply I'm going to link these three pages to this one. Simply go to the three dots, select that text also, link, and here we have the home. Click on done, and here we have. The second one is insights. Click on three dots, link, put offers, done. The third one, destination also, go ahead and click on link. And we have book now. Now we are going to publish our website. Then we are going to add our PayPal to it. Here we have the published website and everything will be set. We are now going to use the interface or the platform of FSite to create that PayPal button. Go ahead to FSite.com and create your widget. Sign in for an account, click on widgets, and from there, you are simply going to use some buttons. Go ahead and search for call to action, or you can go ahead and click simply on PayPal button. Click on it under the e-commerce and it will let you create your own PayPal button. I'm going to put here is created. Let's go ahead and view the widget. If you don't have a PayPal button like this, you are going simply to edit it. Here we have the seller PayPal email. You have to put it right there. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as accounts and emails are created for the sake of the video. They are not real ones and they are not used for any personal uses. Here the payment, the payment type, it is checkout. You can set a donation or a subscription. For checkout, you can put the product name right here. For example, I'm going to put here Brooking. And here we have the localization the currency, the price, and everything. I'm going to put here the price to $25.99. The shipping, I'm going to put here zero. The tax type, you can put a percentage or a fixed. Here, I'm going to put $5. You can make a redirected URL to your website or any Shopify, for example, or any store that you have or you own. For the button, you can put a text above the button. We have also a button text. And here we have some button elements, button text, PayPal icon and PayPal text. And for the payment system icon, you can put here the Visa card, MasterCard, Amex and Discover. You can remove the offsite branding uh, logo or branding uh, manuscript by simply clicking on or enabling that, but you need a premium feature. Click on style and you can go ahead and adjust the button size. Here we have the border size and the button shape. You can go ahead and make it like that or even a little bit sharper like this. We have the button color, the text color and the logo color. You can also add a custom CSS. When you finish this, click on publish and everything will be good. Now to install that, click on simply on install after you have closed that window. Copy that code right there and we are going to put the share link Copy that link and go to Canva. Go to Canva, edit your website and select the field that you are going to put the uh, book a flight, for example, and select the specific uh, of the button. Now go ahead and delete that. I'm going to delete that form. Here we are going to put only Asia and here we have it. Put the America like this. Here we have it. Now we are simply going to apps into the apps. We are going to put embed into the embed. We have here an app. Simply type that website right here and click on add to design. It will add up the code right here and you will see here the button. Here we have the button. You can set it or put it wherever you want like this. And here we have set everything. If you want to republish that, Simply click on publish website and republish the website. 